Realtors here, and today this class is going to be about selling into the school calendar. Uh, Jenna just launched our uh, costumes and kids virtual event, so thank you, Jenna, for that. And then now we're going to roll right into the school calendar. For some of you, school may have already started, and some of you, school might be starting pretty soon. So hopefully we're gonna give you a list of ideas and just ways to kind of navigate in, you know, through this market and ways to get started. There are so many different events and um, things. I'm just gonna say things because that kind of encompasses everything that you can do for schools. Mainly events, but don't forget about spirit wear, um, spirit days, school events, like I just said, holidays. Um, I have a seven-year-old and I can tell you that we celebrated so many days in school that it was like we needed to have a shirt or an item for everything. And um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know so many different topics because each school district, each state, each city is going to be completely different. On the other side for us, we have Vicki and of course she's gonna be there to help see any questions and of course flag them if we need to go ahead and go over them or answer them in the comments section. Make sure if you have comments that you are uh, putting them in the pathable site versus Zoom, that way we can get them answered uh, as best as possible for you. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the PowerPoint and then we are going to go into decorating. How about we remove a pen from the heat press, shall we? Okay, so let's jump right into it. All right, so like I said, we are selling into the school calendar. Um, Vicki, can you see this just fine? I can see it, but it looks a little bigger than the actual screen. I'm not sure if that's something I'm just experiencing. So if someone can just chat in and let me know that they're seeing it the same as, oh, that, that works perfect. Okay, did it fix it? Yep, looks okay. good. Awesome. All right, so just as a little introduction, schools are always looking for more ways to make learning fun and keep the spirit in school. Because of this, spirit days don't just happen once a year. They happen because of back to school, holidays, and even end of the year events. Not only is this enjoyable for the kids, but it brings the school together. It adds camaraderie, and I'm sure that there is always humor. School spirit doesn't have to be a representation of the school colors and the mascot. Remember, school spirit can be dressing up and supporting those crazy days, dressing up um, as grandma and grandpa for the 100 days of schools, and of course, events like field day where everyone might wear the same shirt. If you're not sure where to start, reach out to your local school secretary for a list of upcoming or planned activities. Sometimes you can also find these events through your PTO or PTA, or um, if you have a connection within the school, most of the time they are already being planned. So first things first, because there are so many different events, they can change from year to year. The best advice I have is to create a plan. So like I said, because there are so many opportunities to decorate apparel, create a plan that will consist of what themes you like best. So what you can relate to or what you feel like you know you can do a good job with and how well your items are going to get out there and when you need to have them ready by with events it's so important that we don't miss the date if a parent is buying a crazy day t-shirt from you then we have to make sure that it is there before the day before um the crazy day so they can actually utilize that shirt so here's just a couple things to consider how many themes do you want to decorate for? If you know that school is going to have 20 different days throughout the entire year, which ones do you want to go after? If not all, will these shirts be for kids or will these items be for kids and adults? Taking orders. How are you going to take these orders? Is this going to, are you going to have a website? 
Are you going to have an order form that gets handed out at school? Is this a message to order kind of deal where friends reach out to you? This next one kind of goes with the top one, but how many designs do you want to offer? If it's crazy day, do you have three designs or do you just have one standard set design? Like I said, items ready a week before or three days before and how long each shirt will take you to complete. And then of course, which garments can you use to get the job, the job done quickest? Right now we are all experiencing delays and um, out of stock issues with garments. So prepare as early as you possibly can. If your school colors are royal and that royal shirt is in stock now, grab it so you are prepared for the future and you don't run into any issues. Next is can the school help promote your business just by giving uh, parents a way or information on where they can get all of these items to really help their kids uh, stand out and have fun in school. So here's just an example of Spirit Week. Some of you, um, even if you don't have kids and you're not even sure what to look for, every school's calendar is going to look different. So in this particular case, here's just kind of a brief overview and ways you can break down each day specifically or each theme. So funny shirt day, maybe this is one where you create multiple, des multiple designs or maybe it is one simple design and you change out the colors. Blue ribbon today, blue ribbon day, it could be one standard option or tailored to certain people in the community. Costumes day, how can you help those parents that don't want to go buy a costume in a bag really create a unique costume? This might be a um, made to order type of situation versus something that you have stocked or offer ready to be created. Throwback day, how many ways can you um, really make this uh, a fun and trendy costume, say 70s throwback day, what could you do to really tailor to that day? And then of course, school spirit day, which I highly recommend you go after the school spirit business on top of spirit week. Spirit, the spirit wear business is going to get you multiple orders using the same designs and really give you a, the bigger bang for your buck. However, the more ways to get orders, the, the better. So how do you know what material options to use or what would our recommendations be so you can just have the best ROI? Basic t-shirt material, number one, or a screen printed transfer. Two, patterns for multi multiple color effects. Now I will show you a variety of these throughout this class and our last class of the evening. And then sparkles. I didn't want to put glitter because sparkles is now coming in a different, a couple of different forms, whether it be metallic or glitter flake, uh, chroma. Those are all specific to us, but there are so many blingy materials out there and you just want something that's going to pop, especially if it's for a little girl. So here we go. This is a couple examples. T-shirt material. It's thin. It's going to have a really lightweight feel. Various colors will be available. It's extremely smooth to the touch, and it's so easy to mix with other material. Patterns, like I said, is going to give you that multicolor capability with just that single application. And as you can see in this picture, which is perfect, you can see that there is a water bottle that is decorated with the exact same uh, colorings or pattern that the t-shirt is. Now, this is also lightweight and smooth to the touch. And as you probably heard Jenna stating, um, we like to talk about things that warrant a higher price. It's going to mean it's, it's going to take the same amount of effort for you to create. So not, why not choose a material that you're able to add just a little bit higher margin on? And then, of course, the sparkle, which I said, glitter metallic. It's great as an add-on. So this could be an upcharge if you're using T-shirt material. 
add glitter or metallic for an additional $2, $3. This also can target kids and parents. And uh, like I said, it's, a, it's another one that warrants that higher price. So here's a couple of little reminders. And um, you guys will be able to download this PDF once the class is finished and really keep it in your back pocket as a, and utilize it as a checklist. Um, as you are starting to develop your business in this um, gift giving or school market, there's a lot of really key things for you to kind of go back and checks and balance to make sure that you aren't running around all crazy and really just streamlining your process. So keep it simple stock some party or event designs that can easily be personalized with HDB as needed. Think basic designs that you can change out the materials and get that wow factor. Um, also in there, you can change, you can use the same design and change out the colors for a variety of schools. Stay ahead of schedule. Be firm on your in-hand state for those orders. If somebody's turning in an order late, does that mean they're guaranteed to get their garments later? Does it mean they're gonna get it the same day? Do you add a rush fee? Make sure you keep those in mind, that way you're not holding up other orders. Um, be prepared, if an event or holiday is coming up, go ahead and get stocked up with multiple patterns that can be used in a variety of ways. And one of my favorites, think about the market you are reaching. What is popular in that school district? What is selling? What can you sell your item for? What's going to be the cost? Some schools may not be the same price and that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. You just need to make sure that you are marketing correctly, um, whether or not you keep the price the same. So how do you get started? What do you need? Now that you formed a plan and you know what themes you're decorating, here's what you need. A heat press, blanks, transfers, and the people. That's it. Just three simple, simple things. Fourth is obviously the customer. So we're just going to briefly touch on this because I really want to make sure that we've got plenty of time for decorating and going over any questions. But if you are looking to become a reliable business, or even just see where this hobby, if it's a hobby for you, can take you, review the quality of your press. You guys, this is a key element, and it is the one thing you need to really complete your job, besides, obviously, the garment and the transfer. In order to complete it, you have to have the press. So here's the things to consider if you're looking to upgrade, Maybe you don't have a heat press and you are looking to purchase one and you're not where, sure where to get started. The heating element, could you have cold spots? And I'm sure that there are going to be some companies out there that are not going to say, could you have, or yes, you're going to have cold spots with, with this machine. So make sure you check out the reviews, especially if you're purchasing on Amazon or other places that sell the really, really, really for inexpensive presses. Um, next, can you get accurate temperature? So if you're using a heat press that just has medium heat versus 280, that medium heat isn't um, going to set you up for success. That's going to be a guesstimate on what that temperature is actually going to read out. It could also fluctuate. So one day it could be say 340 if you're using a heat gun to see what the readout is. And the next day it could be 310. Pressure. This one is another key. <laughs> They're all keys, right? You need them all. But accurate pressure, as, you, as long as you can get a readout and adjust, I know you can't see me, but in a tiny little square and I'll show you, your pressure, then um, this will be this will be much better for you than just taking a guess. Um, next is can your press stay consistent? I have had numerous people tell me that they can only get about 20 um, presses done in their heat press, and then they have to let it turn off, cool down, and then start back up again. 
Think about how much time you are losing and wasting simply by having something that just isn't working out the best for you. Last but not least is a timer. If we say use it or press down for 10 seconds, that's the time you press out, not 20, unless you are having slight complications and you are just trying to get the logo to adhere, and then you have to go back and troubleshoot. So timer, so time, temperature, and pressure are all key things to consider. Next are tools. Um, Jenna showed you what it was like to use a heat printing pillow. And um, as you can see in that picture, it's just a like thin little pillow that you stick into whatever your garment is. Craft paper to protect your heating element as well as your garment. Um, the flexible application pad is something we offer, but it is not a necessity. Weeding tools, if you plan on um, using a craft cutter or a industrial cutter, you will need to weed away the excess excess material and don't forget your mask which is a clear carrier if you are using patterns now the patterns i am using today are already masked but i will at least be able to show you what it looks like okay so now that we have rushed through this entire presentation we've gone super fast where do you design so um, Jenna will touch on some of these just a little bit later, but what I want to do is show you how easy it is to find a template simply by using a sample that Transfer Express offers. So on the, the left side of the screen in orange, these are all free designers um, that you can utilize when it comes to needing to create your designs. So stalls.com has the final designer. CADWorks Live is a cloud-based platform that you can use. And then Transfer Express, uh, which offers screen printed transfers, is um, they utilize the Easy View Designer so you can do all your creation for your screen printed transfers right there in Transfer Express. To the right, there are a couple of um, paid options. And of course, one that you can always utilize is your craft cutters library. There is new art updated, I believe daily, if not weekly, and that is subscription based. So right here is a picture of the stalls vinyl designer. Um, however, I'm gonna take you to transferexpress.com and we'll check that out. After that, we're gonna decorate. So we'll go straight from uh, showing you what we're using to decorate. Actually, we're not. We're gonna start decorating some items and then I'm gonna take you to Transfer Express because um, when I show you the transfers, I want it to connect uh, and make a little bit more sense. Okay, so let me stop that. All right, guys. So I mentioned patterns a lot and patterns are, are like a silent weapon because it's one simple piece of material that you heat apply just like any other transfer, but it gives you the ability to use the same design and change out the colors. So one thing, uh, let's just show you a couple that we're using. So this is tie dye. Okay, as you can see, it is just a step and repeat constantly, but it has a really fluid pattern, so there's not any crazy line. So for something like a crazy day, you could have tie-dye, you could have a bug pattern because maybe that's just what the kid loves and it's crazy. Um, you could have other really fun patterns, especially if the kid is being crazy from head to toe, mix and match those patterns that don't have to make sense because the point is you're being crazy. The next one to always consider is holiday. So this is just a fun, um, 
It's an orange, a purple, I believe it's white with black, little ghost design. And this is actually in a slightly different style of material called soft foam to give us just a little bit of dimension. And last but not least, that I'm gonna show you is I'm in love with this one. So it has kind of a take on marble and tie dye, which is extremely popular right now. We have used school colors in here. So particularly purple and gold or purple and yellow. And then this pattern is going to be used on a simple game day print, which you could easily change out the colors because this was a custom one. I chose these colors and use it for multiple schools. So even if you don't want to go after schools, you have an Etsy shop shop and you're wanting to update spirit wear or game day, uh, game day items on there. This so, so easy. Um, and I believe the ghosts you could have changed out the colors as well. Not the tie dye, but still you're catching my drift. Hopefully. All right, so another one I will show you later, but so we don't, I'm just gonna briefly touch on patterns in the last class. This is a glitter flake. And as you can see, this is snowflakes. So we've, we've, we've touched on holidays, we've touched on spirit wear for the school, and then we've also touched on spirit days, which would allow or um, allow kids to dress up how they want. Last but not least, some candy canes, really, really getting into Christmas or that holiday spirit. Okay, so let's uh, head to the press. I'm going to pivot my camera. So bear with me. There we go. Okay, so the first one we are going to do is this is just a Gildan heavyweight t-shirt, guys. You can purchase it at a Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart. Um, I know there's other places out there. And then if you have the ability where you can have a wholesale account, this one was specifically sourced from SNS, but Alpha Rotor, Sanmar, and um, I know there's plenty others. Okay, so if you notice this, this t-shirt happens to work on this platen, but because Jenna showed you pillows, I'm gonna show you what it's like to actually switch out the platen. So I am using the uh, Hotronics Auto Plan and my little uh, gripper just popped off. And as you can see, I just flipped the little knob right here, pulled out my platen, and I am going to use the 11 by 15 and just stick it right in there. Now I am using a uh, tabletop, what is this called? Uh, stand, thank you. <laughs> okay, so tabletop stand, and I'm going to be able to thread my garment so I open it like a pillowcase and just slide it on. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is pre-press, and that is going to help get out all of the wrinkles and moisture. And then it also helps me test my pressure. So as you can see, this little black knob right here is what is giving me the pressure readout right here. Okay, so for this, Spirit day, we are doing crazy. So our first layer is going to be ultra weave, which is in navy. And then our top layer is going to be in um, patterns, which is called CAD cut patterns. And this is specifically in express print. So this is going to give us a really, really smooth finish, but a really cool multicolor effect. So what we're going to do first is find the center of our logo 
And then I am going to go about two fingers down. Now I normally just like to bring up the tag and then find that little crease that I made and we're good. Because we're doing a two color design, we just wanna tack this down. Ultra weed is anywhere from 260 to 300 degrees for 12 seconds. Now, because we are tacking, we're only just gonna heat apply for just a couple seconds. And as you can see, this carrier was already ready to lift. Final transfer, 300 degrees for 15 seconds. And ultra weed can be layered. So all I have to do is apply that transfer right on top. I don't have to worry about cavities. I don't have to really worry about any shirt showing through. All I have to do is just make sure that I have it even as possible in terms of the, the navy showing. This one will finish for a total of 15 seconds. And then it's a heat peel. So if you're looking for hot peel, if you're looking for materials that are going to be quick and easy for you to use, this is an excellent option. Again, the crazy could be changed out in the pattern and then now you have a variety of different looks. So hot peel and the first one is done. So super, super fun, basic font. And I chose, um, a little kind of like a graffiti look. The more you want to add up to you, but easy, boom, we were done in 30 seconds. All right, so the next one, this is hot and I don't want it to crease. <laughs> so we're tossing it on the floor. The next one is going to be selling into either um, the theme of the holiday. So this one is going to be specifically for Halloween. And this is a J America glitter tee. And this is actually an adult size, but we are just really going to go all out specifically for, it looks so much better in person. I was trying to get it. There we go. As I'm creeping into the side of the camera. Um, I really wanted it to just kind of be in your face because sometimes that's just what Halloween is. So we're going to thread this garment on. Again, we're going to pre-press. Glitter flake applies at 302 degrees. And like I said, this is the cat cut patterns, but in soft foam. And it also applies at 300 degrees. Now the little trick here is that glitter flake cannot be layered on. So what we are going to do is apply our glitter flake first, and then our soft foam will come around and go inside of Boo. So booyah. And this is the coral glitter flake. So the coral and the orange in the material are not an identical match but I am okay with that just because of how fun this color is. You'll get a better view of the sparkle once we've removed the carrier. So again, we're gonna tack this material down. The trash can is um, working against me, there it goes. <laughs> okay. So again, glitter flake first. Now I didn't adjust my time, so I'm gonna quickly just pop this up here in just a second. And hot peel. So this one just peels super easy. Now you could easily keep it just like this and your shirt is done. However, we're going with full color people. So 
Let's go ahead and add that soft foam in there. Now this one applies at light pressure. And in this particular case, I just wanna make sure that we are aligned as best as possible. Now you could have gone and taken that glitter flake and put it over first, but because soft foam has a little bit of dimension to it, I, I just wanna make sure that the soft foam is adhering correctly and um, that we aren't missing anything on, in terms of application. So here I'm just gonna loosen up our pressure to make sure that is correct. We wanna be at a low pressure for soft foam and a medium pressure for glitter flake. That's why I was adjusting. Now this is a cold peel. So once this pops up, I'm gonna take it and put it aside and we'll continue pressing. So if you have a variety of shirts that you are decorating, then you can press, set aside, and then go back and peel. All right, so let's do some spirit wear. That's really where we're at next in terms of the logo or the items we're decorating. This is um, an LAT, and this is actually a youth large, and it is a jersey tee. They make these in youth and adult, and I believe they also make them in a onesie. And then they also make them maybe smaller, just might be onesie, youth, and then adult. But I feel like there's four different styles. Anyway, this is purple. So as you can see, we are definitely doing some tonal by bringing that purple uh, pattern onto the garment. And then this is a really, really fun metallic-like effect from Fashion Film Electric. And it's going to give us a shimmer. You can kind of see, I've got a glare right there, but you can see it in the M that there is kind of like a pearl-like finish to this. Again, you'll be able to see it with the carrier that is off, but just so you know. Okay, so pre-press. I could easily go in and adjust my time, but we're gonna keep it like this. Okay, so this is going to be the first one we are going to apply since uh, it's game on top and then obviously day on the bottom. And this is just going to keep it easy for us to align on the garment. Now, this is where you're going to notice a little difference in uh, time, temperature, pressure, <coughs> excuse me, versus what is really required in um, terms of applying this. Fashion Film Electric applies at 320 degrees. Now, um, to stay consistent with all the other materials I'm using today, it's going to be applied at 300 degrees. Apply it at 320 if you were doing it for a commercial or you're selling it to somebody. I don't want to set you up for failure um, in the fact that you would go to apply at 300 degrees and then it not last on the garment. So make sure it's 320 degrees for uh, 15 seconds is the correct application time. So for uh, showing purposes, we're going to do 300 I'm going to see if I can tack it down at five seconds and then finish for 15. But in the case that it does not adhere, I'll go in for another five seconds. I think it's so important that um, everybody knows the correct time and temperature, just so you know exactly what we're doing. So it is a hot peel. This is peeling just fine. I don't know where the other logo went. It, it, it drifted off on its own. I found it. <laughs> Any more tables in space? Oh, 
Okay, so as you can see, game day, with all those fun elements. And then you're just gonna match up the bottom portion to the top. You can choose to have a gap, Even if it's a little different from your art, just because those two layers of the top are going up and the bottom are connected. So again, like I said, the full 15 seconds here. And then it's a hot peel, so we will be able to peel and review it immediately. While this is cooking, let's... So the soft foam is complete. Set this one aside. Peel this back. And then now our game day shirt is complete. I'm still getting some cast in terms of light, but there you go. Now you can really see that pearlized or um, slight metallic hue finish on this material. Um, there's just something about this color that I love. It's very unique. Reminds me of gold bars, but how fun is that? Now the game day logo itself could have been made much larger, but if you are choosing to decorate anywhere from a U small to U large, make sure you keep your logo size consistent um, it's going to help you in the long run. Just find the size that you feel happiest with that could be applied to a youth small and a youth large. If you are not happy with those sizes, do a youth small and youth medium in the same size and then do or extra small, 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 medium, medium, large, large, extra large. There's different ways you can kind of play it out depending on the material or the sizes that are available. So I love this one so much next let's review that boo booyah so fun as you can see that that um coral is kind of changing just depending on how that white is hitting it i don't know i also feel like it kind of makes it look like it is a glow in the dark even though this is not and it's technically not a a, a neon <laughs> a neon but it looks like it Okay, so another option that you could do, um, for some it's probably too late, school started, but this is a class T. And on the back, they would put their handprints for the years um, that they're going into school. So you could have a simple one to three different types of designs. This one, uh, kids can go in and color this. But where the big pro is on this is the back. You can add personalization. You can add the little spots for all of the school years. Um, that's where you really, really increase the amount of the shirt. And we all know it's so easy to add a simple name to the back of the shirt, um, onesies, twosies, whatever they're doing. So that's just another idea for you. And then now let's talk uh, actual spirit wear. So what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of transfers from Transfer Express. These are all school related transfers that you would get in a Transfer Express marketing kit. So if you aren't sure about really diving into spirit wear or you're not sure even really like what you have to offer, in terms of screen print, if you know you want to offer that, you can purchase a Transfer Express marketing kit. Um, if you go to our homepage of our event, both the Transfer Express and the stalled marketing kits are available. They have different products and they show completely different designs. So this one specifically has uh, two logos. It has a main two color right here and then a two color right here. There is a design right here you guys can't see because it's white, 
But if you wanted, you could also cut this off and use it as a back design. Um, there's a couple of different things with, you could do with this bottom portion. Another one I want to show you is a three color design that is showing something other than sports. It's more about school awareness. This is about sports awareness. So in this particular spot, you can see that they have chosen three colors. It's got the name of the elementary school and then two other designs as well. So with transfers, uh, screen printed transfers, you can gain the sheet. So you have this entire sheet to utilize. You just have to stay consistent in the colors that you're using. So if you want a one color, everything has to be that same color. What's really cool is that this sheet comes with the Transfer Express kit and right, oh, let's see if it'll focus, it will. Right there, it tells you the design that we are using. So this is MAS187, and that's how you can find that template. Same thing for this one as well. So cool, easy. It's a great way to generate some ideas. And those designs are already created for you. All you have to do is change the text, change, change the colors and the mascot, um, and you're ready to run. So I'm going to show you where to find that really fast. Actually, let's go ahead and dip the decorate one. So this is just again, a tie dye gildan heavy cotton t-shirt in Royal. Like I said, tie dye is extremely popular right now, especially tonal or more muted designs. Now we are going to for sure pre-press this. Now, the one transfer I'm going to be using is this one. This is a lasty print. It applies at 300 degrees, where Goof Proof, the one I just showed you, applies at a higher temperature. And screen printed transfers definitely require accuracy on temperature. So just to show you how easy this is to create a two-color design, let me find the middle. Now this is a cold peel. And this logo is really designed for an adult shirt, but I want to show it on kids. And I think the multicolor and the fun tie dye just really makes it stand out. Now this is cold peel. So as this is cooling down, I will uh, quickly pop over to the website. So bear with me just a second. Okay, so right here, you can see transferexpress.com. And on the website, I went to uh, the designer. So it just pops it up right here and you have a blank screen. Now, I'm going to show you specifically how to find that design by using the um, number that they gave you on that form. And Jen is going to go a little more in detail about just everything that's available in this designer. We could be here for hours. So we are going to go to add layout. And as you can see, I had already typed something just to verify. But to show you, um, let's do MAS-187, and there is that Mahoney Panthers, and as you see, it it's shown in uh, Compton Panthers. So from here, you would turn around and start customizing all of the colors if you wanted to make it one color, two color. And of course, you can resize it. And then start adding other little elements to your sheet. So something simple, just like that, easy to keep going. Once you have filled out your sheet, 
you'll walk through all of the little boxes right here. Once all of this is filled out, you can go right to the cart and order it. It's so, so simple. Okay, so I know that was uh, literally like a two minute touch on using the EZB designer, but um, in the catalog that gives you the design, the lookbook, I believe, and then something like this, you can go in and take all of those designs with the number, pull them up immediately versus searching through templates and then just start creating. So this guy, like I said, is a cold peel. So I'm just gonna cool it down. Vicki, do we have any questions? I know we have um, just a handful of minutes left. No. no. It was like a squeak. Oh, it's still so hot. Sorry, having microphone issues. Nothing. Else. I get it. I heard. <laughs> I was wondering if um, there were things heard earlier from my side, but I don't think so. Okay. So just wanted to make sure. So as you can see, this was one hit, and then you're going to get a two color design done. So. How fun to take a non-traditional shirt. I went, I went a little too low, guys. Um, but a non-traditional, just solid shirt, and we made it tie-dye. That white works well, and then it gives the chance for that orange to really just stand out and pop. And um, for those of you that are wondering, well, why did she use Elasti over Goof? Goof Proof is an excellent T-shirt. It's a hot. Uh, quick time, hot peel, boom, you're done. And this one is great for performance as it has some stretch and rebound to it. So both are great options if you are worried about the high temp of 325 or 365, then stay with Elasti that is available at 300 degrees. Um, so you guys, that's, that's pretty much the gist. We covered so much, um, and part of that is just because there's so many different things out there. I went on Google, and I looked at a variety of school calendars or school spirit week calendars, and there were some similar, you know, similarity where the last day was spirit day, um, there was a crazy day, or, um, you know, where they do decades. So that's where you could pull in more tie dye or paisley, um, do a poodle if it's like the 50s. You can just get as creative as possible. But um, the biggest thing, like I said from the beginning, is create a plan and how you're going to get those orders. So the best way for you to be successful is to stay organized in a business where. It, it requires a lot of personalizations and onesies and twosies just to make sure you are doing that one piece job correctly and um, the best of your ability. So if we don't have any more questions, um, I don't know if I can see them. Then I'm going to let you guys go to, nope. Yeah, one minute early. And uh, Jenna is up next decorating at costumes. She's got a uh, two part series. So one is going with your basics and the second is going next level. And then I will come in and finish out the night with um, holiday gifts and fun things for the kids. So we'll see you in a couple of hours, but have fun with Jenna. Bye guys.